Good evening, viewers, and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page. It's Friday, the 19th of June, and I'm Curtis Moore. In our headlines, former cricketer to be laid to rest tomorrow, and in our feature for this evening, back to the good old days of female cricket. We'll take this break, and I'll be right back. As a fisherman, I use the marine resource wisely, so I can conserve our biodiversity, so I can fish for life, it's all about balance. I preserve biodiversity by the way that I farm. It takes care of my family. It's all about balance. I have enjoyed these seas all my life. I do my best to conserve our biodiversity because I want my children and my grandchildren to enjoy them as much as I do. It's all about balance. I'm a park ranger and my job is to properly manage our protected areas and conserve our biodiversity. It's all about balance. Youth, let's stay apart in conserving our biodiversity and maintaining our natural resources. It's all about balance. For life, for livelihood, for the future of St. Kitts and Nevis, let's all conserve our biodiversity and use our natural resources wisely. It's all about balance. Well, I'm back and we start with cricket. Former Nevis, Leeward Islands off spinner Harold Walters will be laid to rest tomorrow, Saturday, 20th June. A family source indicated that the homegoing service will be held at the St. Paul's Anglican Church at 2 p.m. Walters passed away on Sunday, 25th May. He not only served the Nevis cricket team with distinction, but also played for the Leeward Islands during the period 1965 to 1968. And so from the sports page, we say condolences to the entire family. On the, international, on the international scene, Shannon Gabriel believes that his controversial comments to Joe Root during the St. Lucia Test match in February 2019 were blown out of proportion and says he will not hold back in the coming series if given the opportunity to play. Gabriel was handed a four-match ban and issued an unreserved apology after the stump microphone at the Darren Sammy Stadium overheard Root rebuking him with the words, there's nothing wrong with being gay, following a mid-pitch altercation. Gabriel later claimed that he had asked Root, do you like boys? However, speaking in the build-up to the first test of West Indies Biosecure Series in England, for which he has been selected among the reserves as he recovers from an ankle injury, Gabriel was unrepentant, adding that he and his teammates were simply focused on retaining the Wisden Trophy that they secured with their 2-1 to -one win on home soil. To be honest, that was in the past, Gabriel said. I don't really think about it too much. Whatever happened or whatever was said, I don't really want to harp on about that. I'm just looking to the future now. I've just come here to play good cricket if selected and do my best for West Indies cricket. I just think the way they dealt with it was blown out of proportion, he added. The story that was told was not entirely true, but I just want to move on and forget that. The circumstances of the coming series may require players on both sides to be more guided on the field, given that the lack of a crowd may lead to more of their conversations being picked up by the stump microphones. Gabriel, however, was adamant that the chat would keep flowing between the two teams and that the intensity of a test match would not be lost despite the emptiness of the stands. We'll take this break and I'll be back with our feature for this evening. Coronaviruses are a large family of viruses that cause illness ranging from the common cold to more severe diseases such as Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS-CoV, and Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, SARS-CoV. The 2019 novel coronavirus 2019-NCoV is a new strain that has not been previously identified in humans. Coronaviruses are zoonotic, meaning they are transmitted from animals to humans. Detailed investigations found that SARS-CoV was transmitted from civet cats to humans and MERS-CoV from dromedary camels to humans. Several known coronaviruses are circulating in animals that have not yet infected humans. Common signs of infection include respiratory symptoms, fever, cough, shortness of breath, and breathing difficulties. In more severe cases, infection can cause pneumonia, 
severe acute respiratory syndrome, kidney failure, and even death. To protect yourself and prevent the spread of the infection, practice regular hand washing, covering mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing, thoroughly cooking meat and eggs. Avoid close contact with anyone showing symptoms of respiratory illness such as coughing and sneezing. This message was brought to you by the Nevis Health Promotion Unit. Well, I'm back and tonight cricket is in the spotlight. There was a time when female cricket was the biggest attraction on Nevis. Tonight we go back into the archives and bring you some moments. The year was 2010. Brownhill team, Sibrock has made 53. Brownhill after two overs, look at this field setting. 18 for two. Coach Patrick Newton signaling, getting his field set. Mid wicket, and that's definitely good. Pressure here, because you're going to stop the single in here, and you'll have to go big. Carisha Powell is in strike, puts the ball pretty well to her. Nice, oh, not dead. It could be well, well, is that accidental or what? Came off the foot straight to the bowler. Well, she would say that she could play for Brazil. Moves in once, that was well hit though. Jim once more, can't stop it this time. And going down for the single, that one pass in the short extra cover, that's her job. Should be stopping those. Well, there's a mistake, I think. No deep mid-wicket. And, oh, maybe we can come in in position now. Patrick Newton has picked that up. And immediately, he has set the field down to mid -wicket. So This is a pressure game. Could be very exciting to the finish. Well, bold! Struck on the foot. She left one alone the other night and was bold. And here she was again leaving it alone. So she has a little bit of a problem on center and leg. Short and pulling it into the inside. Quickly in his midwicket. They should be thinking too here. And uh, made up their minds early in his single. Over number 12, they need one on. Doesn't matter how you win. Herbert now fast and try to bowl to Powell. Oh, she's uh, leaving that leg stump exposed. But it's going to be a wide signal. They have to watch that leaving the leg stump alone thingy. So the scoop actually will come. And then when they try to bowl it back and stop, suddenly will be outside the house of friends. Off oh, a short to run now, Herbert. Full toss, yeah. pass the keeper, going down to third man. And she's home and a white signal. So, two extra runs, crucial runs here. Swing and a miss. So that's four wides. And four crucial wides. So, well, that's interesting. Charmin is almost behind the wicket keeper now. Moves in now to bowl. Down the leg side, another wide. The captain giving it away here with all those wides. Well, bowl this time, comprehensively beaten as she has a swing. Trying to go through the onside. She played a pretty good straight hit the other night. Should stay straight. Good ball that time by Jasmine Herbert. Bowls. Good ball again against Chuck and the foot this time. That's a good delivery, good finish at the end of the over. So 27 from 3. You'll have to say that Brownell has the edge at this point. Only 3 overs gone. 54 required, but it still could be interesting. The lateral balls turned into the onside. They're going to get at least one here, maybe two. There's a little bit of a bubble. And Carissa Powell, an athlete by nature, turned, ready to go. But the crowd shouted, hey, no, don't. Well, bold. She has a swing at that. Aiming for Cole's corner, which is pretty vacant if he gets it in that slot. And she, Smitten is waiting down there, not really keeping this here. Well, bold. This time over the head of the extra cover. Damien Hanley is going across. The ball's over. They're going to get two. Oh, there goes Sam and Hanley tumbling over. Excitement here, Joe Flash. Oh, she's swinging again. Stuck on the back leg. 
to watch now. We're counting it down. We're not going to say how much drums had got. Wrong, wrong we're going to say how much speed passed their power. Good game against it was St. James. And that's another white. And white is signed by Mike Wallace. And the left look at the Brownell camp. 21 more. Get it closer and closer. And we have a pretty good crowd in tonight. A lot of times, small total. Very good crowd. As a matter of fact. No, I think she can get it from Clark. Well, game number two, United, the new winners, first time in history. Swing in, missing once more, the end of the over. A bit of a message yes, or what going United. on with a message two, I would assume. Well, this is very interesting. Sherilyn Smitten, otherwise known as a wicketkeeper bat batter, is now new to the ball. I think this is the first time I'm seeing a ball. Well, let's see how she handles that. Bowling in a cap now. Let's let's see how she she does this. She moves in now. Well, not bad at all. And uh, she's sweeping, struck on the back leg. It's Kerry Shapowell. And she went for it, but. Camilla Lawrence, keep it very shot. close up, Johnson Morton and Dwight Morton all in the family, all good people in the sense he got some battle and he's going to run away, believe, cross the boundary, nobody can it, gone for four, so half target swept away for four, to stop the boundary, to conclude out on the field here, well, Isaac Newton making an adjustment. If you're going to stick with a plan, just more for the start. You have to stick Smith with one plan. You cannot have your feet set one way and all of a sudden one over change it. But put it. Better than it bold. Oh, she's bold. Going right across her stumps, having a swing bold. Now, is this... Is this going to be a drastic change to the brown innings? Well, there might be just a little hard flutters here. Because this could spell danger. Very sure Paul goes back. Well, the score here, 37. To now, to bowl to Gale. Oh, ball! Oh, well! Off the foot and away from the stump. My goodness, that was close. Backing away and came off the foot and just missed the off stump. Well, Kel. Well, both. She's pushing it sweetly into the offside. Nice little push. And a single easily acquired. 16 more required. Lots of overs ready. Driven nicely down to Long On, who gets down in the approved manner, gets it in quickly. Well, Shelly's Brown will be bowling from the pavilion in, number 22 on her back to go to the aggressive Clark. Not a bad ball at all, struck in the back leg, that's a good delivery. She looked up big and wide, but Brown will be doing other pass there for her now. Swung away, oh, Kayla's looking hand up, but um, a Kayla's looking hand up there, he went over her head before. And uh, certainly nice to see at the far end this um, Jay, um, Jerry Walwin, not in uniform, but <laughs> turning her back down there on the camera, intentionally. Oh, that's all right, and gone past the keeper, might even go past third man, I believe that's gone for four. No, it hasn't gone for four. So three extra runs. So they're giving it away now. Giving it away. Eight more runs required. So Brownell, they don't need to panic. They could just cruise home. But a wicket could be a difference here. Another wide signal by the umpire. So that's 47 to score. Seven runs required. Lots of overs in the bag. Bronx United cruising here. Slamming it down now, pass mid wicket over to Long on. And a single. Well, if he's taking Super Rockers can kill with it, will be a miracle. Ball. Short and bound in the air. Short of the mark. And uh, picks it up on the run, gets it in. So it is Five more in the five. Missing one more. Short. Missing might be wide, I believe. And they're going to get two extra runs because the umpire is just about to signal. And do the signals here, my sir. 
And then hitting distance here. They could finish in this over. She wants to do that and oh, drop. Badly dropped. Uh, went through her hands there, that was Myra. She got her hands up, but it went through, through them. Sally, the daughter, would be very disappointed with that. Should have had a wicket. Better ball, ball! Could we still have some, could we still have some interesting saga here? She Some applause going up there. Down the ground straight and gone for four. Well, Brownell has won the match in emphatic fashion. More than well, that was Kel driving straight down the ground and gone for four. So Brownell has won and they run onto the field now. Straight down the ground, lovely shot to finish the game. Don't tonight has really earned play Super Rappers tonight. Super Rappers didn't have enough runs to get Brown tonight. And Brown tonight had also a little bit of panic. Cool to easily. And really, really, Super Rappers have been outplayed. Brown tonight had. Well, that's our package for this evening and indeed for the week. I am Curtis Morton reminding you that you can watch sports if you are not fit. But to play sports requires fitness, diligence, and sacrifice. Have a good night and a great weekend.